Hi, I'm Somer Hackley, CEO at Distinguished Search. Welcome to Two Distinguished Minutes, where I have a distinguished guest and we ask one very important question. So today my guest is Robert Sears. He is the Chief Product Officer at Axion Opportunity Fund. Well, Robert, it is so great to see you here today. Thanks for joining me. Great to see you. Thanks for having me on. Of course. All right. So I've been dying to ask you this, the one big question, which is why do you do what you do? Well, uh, thanks for asking. And really, I'd say for, for me, why I do what I do is the opportunity to truly innovate. And there's there's a lot of discussion and, and banter about innovation. But to me, that's identifying a problem or a gap or a need and uh, working to come up with a solution for it. And then finally, actually delivering that solution. Unless you have all three of those parts, I don't think you've truly innovated. Uh, the rest is, is theater if you don't if you don't get to the delivery point. So that's what I really love to do. If you're going to do that at scale, though, which is where I really like to, to be, then you can't do it by yourself. You have to have a team. So really, if you combine the idea of, of innovating, but with a team, that leads you into building and coaching a successful team that's really good at that. So building a team that can actually help you identify those problems, understand, take a look at them from all different sides, come up with solutions, some of them you're going to throw away, some of them you'll keep, and then figure out how to take those solutions and make them real. That's really amazing. And when you get to the point where you've actually delivered that solution and it's a product and it's in somebody's hands, it's incredibly fulfilling. So to me, the, what I really love to do is, is that bit from figuring out a problem, a gap, a hole, an opportunity, and create the solution for that and get it into the, the customer's hands watch them use it. That's what I like to do. I love how you, you married the innovation coupling it with the team and scale. So right. then, so when you think about scale then, like how much of this innovation can you attribute to you versus you kind of stepping back and, and letting your team take the reins on it? Like how do you balance that out when you have the big idea, yeah. right? That's a really good question. It's, it's to do it well, it's an interplay, right? Because every everybody on the team is going to have some part of what the ultimate big idea is. So when you start with an idea, you have to be really careful that, that you can seed that idea to the team, but you don't want to do it in a way that constrains their thinking and you don't want to uh, really keep them from bringing their best. So you don't want to you know, bring it in as a dictator. Um, sometimes you'll even hold back on your idea and sort of ask questions that lead them down um, the, the path of, of exploring what are the options here even helping them identify what the problem is. Those are the keys to, to really be successful at, at identifying what you need to attack. And then you have to start the hard part of figuring out how do you, how do you make that real? Perfect. I love it. Well, Robert, thank you so much for joining me today and being a guest. I really appreciate all the wisdom you shared today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Good to see you, Summer. All right. You too.